Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Nostalgia Train. And as I promised from the last video that I'm going to be talking about Universal Soldiers in the next video. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Um, like I said uh, for my previous video, this was the second Jean, uh, no, no, the, um, Dolph Lundgren movie that I saw. Yeah, so that was like after He Man, uh, which is uh, Masters of the Universe. This was the next Dolph Lundgren movie that I saw as a kid. So this one I also loved. I loved so much. And though the movie did spawn like I think three or four sequels, um, this is still the best one. Plus, I'm concerned. It's still the best one. The other, the, the sequels were were very very mid. This was top notch. This movie was awesome. It was great, uh, great action, great uh, sound effects, great uh, score. Uh, of course, it also stars uh, Jean Claude Van Damme, uh, one of my favorite martial actors on planet Earth. So yeah, this movie was awesome. Uh, it was out in 1992, uh, 1992, but unfortunately. Just like Master of the Universe, this was also not a box office hit, unfortunately. Which I don't understand for the life of me why this movie was fantastic. I don't understand why that is. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, the movie is great. Um, well, in the film, uh, Jean Claude Van Damme is a soldier in Vietnam War. In the Vietnam War. And um, so is the Dolph Lundgren and same unit. Um, so, um, in the war, it turns out um, Dolph Lundgren kind of lost his, his senses, <laughs> he got, went nuts and started killing even his own soldiers and civilians as well and chopping off their ears and making uh, uh, making the chain with ears on them, you know, crazy. So um, Van Damme confronts him and they end up killing each other, you know, and they die. But then they now, like, like 25 years later, which is 1992, and they're now like a part of a, a special um, military squad or something called the uh, Universal Soldiers. You know, so, and uh, but uh, there's this reporter and she starts to investigate them because they've had like this is like their third mission in the movie and they success it was successful so they said like it was successful no casualties no injuries but there was this reporter and she felt like no these guys are not telling us everything so she now decides to sneak into the base where the uh, the military is, you know, um, kind of secured themselves with the soldiers. So in the in the rescue, because it was a hostage situation with some, um, some band, uh, some like a militant group, let me put it that way, and they, they went in there and took them out. So they said there was no casualties, no injuries. So she, uh, so the reporter now discovered that uh, one of them actually got shot. One of the universal soldiers got shot. And she now found him inside like a, a huge container for the suit of ice and he was in it. And the guy, as she was taking his pictures, he now like wakes up. So they, 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 they were, of course, were brought back from the dead. So they can't die in the traditional way of trying to kill a person. They can't die because, you know, so they can't die. And ice is what heals them whenever they're injured or shot or something. They regenerate when they're put, put in a cooling environment, put in a cooling temperature or something. So she now ends up, you know, he now wakes up and the, the surveillance camera now spot her and they now send that, you know, uh, Dolph Lundgren and Jean Claude Van Damme and one of her you know, uh, soldiers to go apprehend them. So they're trying to like drive away and there's a brief chase and she has an accident. And so um, in the process of them trying to interrogate them, we'll get the film evidence from her because she took the picture. So um, Dolph Lundgren now kills the, because she had a, one of her colleagues with her in the in the you know car so the floor now executes him shoots him in the head without being instructed to do so you know goes off the rail so uh, van damme now uh, like reverts back to his old memory of how he fought uh, that um the floor and attacks the floor and rescues the female reporter and they now drive off together so they now begin to hunt them you know so she now begins to learn that you know they're not um you know like something's off about them because he got shot in the attempt to rescue her and he what healed him was ice not uh, band-aid and not you know, the usual stitches or anything it was ice that healed him and he, you know and you know some remarkable things were able to do that made her feel like okay this guy is clearly not normal and he running through walls and stuff like that so they 
try to apprehend them again at a motel but that doesn't go well there was a huge shootout and everything but they managed to escape that attempt so um when they, they now uh, later they now pull up to a gas station and um but then now realized that okay clearly there's some sort of tracking device in him that's why they're able to keep finding them wherever they go so he now tells her to cut out the tracker so she does and they now uh, lay a trap for the, the soldiers the universal soldiers and this general that's you know um handling them you know it's like their boss so um he now so he now sets a trap for them and majority of the soldiers except for Dolph laundry is able to out, uh, avoid getting uh, uh, caught up in that trap so he now even hides in their car and tries to apprehend them you know inside the cars they're trying to escape you know they are, uh, so which goes wrong for him he gets thrown out of the car and then they make their escape so then they're not like okay this this is really bad because every other soldier is like dead except for Dolph Lundgren and even though they can try to regenerate them back but they're like uh, the the general that like, called you know, his superiors say okay look what's happened um, so the guy's like, so he now goes, gets a call like, okay, they're pulling the plug. We, we have to head back to base, uh, the original base, you know, so that because it looks like this thing's about to spin out of control. The truth's about to come out. What they call the whole operation is illegal. The whole bringing soldiers back to life and all that. The Pentagon is not aware. So part of the budget for the Pentagon has been siphoned to do this side mission, this side uh, experiment and all of that. So they don't want this truth coming out so that they don't now all get you know, thrown in prison for what they've done. So that okay, you know, let's let's like, you know, put a cock in it and come back to base. So uh Dolph Lundgren infuses because now his memories are coming back. He remembers the fight he had with Van Damme and that infused Van Damme is a you know a soldier that's disobeyed orders and all of that. So he's like he wants to go get him. So they're like so the general's like, we're going back, it's over and he's like, no, so when I say so so Jared now tries to pull his gun, but the soldier was faster and kills him. So he now goes in and lets everyone else know in the truck. They had this mobile home that had all the soldiers in it, with all the equipment and lab and things like that. Now lets them all know, like, okay, we're going after Van Damme. There's no, the mission is over, none of that. We're going after. So there was a couple of uh, people, one a soldier and another, like regular civilian people, not any of the universal soldiers. They tried to stand up to him, but he killed both of them. So they now remain the scientists. They're like, so everybody get it. I'm in charge now. You know? So so they now continue on the uh, on the chase. So um, by now, um, uh, when they did that, um, staged all of that uh, the trap, they used the opportunity while the chaos was going on outside to take some documents from the mobile home. From the lab, so they now so the female reporters are going through it, and she now finds the name of the doctor who created, who was able to bring Van Damme back from the dead, and all the other soldiers that he brought back from the dead. So they now pay the guy a visit, and they now like, okay, well, you know, the, the, the whole thing, you know, you know that kind of explains the situation how she was able to do it. So Van Damme's like, he's not interested in any more like experiments or try to reverse the whole process. He just wants to go home. You know, that was always his desire, right from uh, Vietnam War. He was like, you know, I want to go home. I want to go. So he's like, I want to go home. I want to go meet my parents and all of that. So he now decides to go home. So they not get apprehended by the cops because of all the violence and everything that's been going on so far. They not get apprehended, and she was accused in the. Um, they they framed the killing of her colleague on her that she's the one that killed him, so she's also wanted. So so they now apprehend her and him, and while they're being transported in a in a prison in a like a police uh, bus, you know, with the bars and the chains and everything, they, the the now comes with the mobile truck now starts bashing into them, and there's a huge uh, road battle, really cool road battle that takes place. But they're able to get away from Dolph, and they now think they've successfully taken him out that he's, he's dead. So uh, she now agrees that she's going to take him to home. So they now go to his home, and you now see that both of his parents are still alive, and they're happy to see him because you know he looks exactly the way he did 25 years ago. He you know he didn't age a day. So the, you know they were, you say they were surprised. It's an understatement to see him. So they were happy and everything. So she now says, "Okay, she's leaving, and she's going to go." So after they. Um, have dinner and all that, that she's gonna go so she now leaves only the phone now like get her 
So um, the light now goes out in my house. It's like a farmhouse. It's on a farm. So and um, when then I know something's wrong, then the dog starts calling me from outside, like you know, come out. Let's let's do this. Let's have our showdown. Let's come face me. So he now goes out and he now says, okay, he's gonna kill the girl unless he fights him. So he now tries his best, but there's this serum that Dolph was taking earlier in kind of middle part of the film that gives him extraordinary strength because normally they are physically strong, but this now gives him an added advantage to take on Van Damme. So the fight was not, was not fair. Van Damme kept getting his butt kicked a lot. Then um, finally he now gets hold of the serum and injects himself and now it's an evil playing field and he's a much better fighter, you know, than Dolph. So he now really kicks his butt and takes him out. So uh, then, you know, the film kind of wraps up there. Uh, well, the movie is uh, fantastic. I, I, I love this film. Seeing it again was really nostalgic. I was really, really smiling and all the scenes the movie has some great lines some really really great lines i can't say them <laughs> really great lines i can't say them without the you know those little beeps that go up when you use an imperfect word but the movie is really really good really really interesting i love it more than the sequels uh no it's one of my beloved films as a kid because i love action movies growing up as a kid i was all about action movies either as you know sword Fight like like you know the sword films like the Conan's and all of that, or you know actual gunfight films with added martial arts into it, you know, just like G Club and that movies were you know growing up you know, years back and all that. So you know so this is one of my beloved um, movies from when I was a kid. So if you've not seen Universal Soldiers, which I don't believe was lost at all, unless you're Gen Z. Yeah, so unless you can <laughs> see, so if you've not seen Universal Soldiers, I advise, I recommend you go check it out. It's really, really good. It's very, very interesting. You, you're gonna love it. It's very, very good. I love it. It's one of my loved films as a kid. So uh, that's it for this video. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please like the video. If you haven't subscribed to my mm. channel, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Bye.